and, and, and thanks everybody for joining uh, this demo session. I really, really appreciate, I see a lot of people in here, so I really appreciate the, the curiosity. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to make this, uh, this quick so we can have a, a little bit of a discussion afterwards if you guys are interested or if you're, if you're gonna have any questions. But um, just to quickly kind of give you a little bit uh, of a background info on, on Pawn, uh so it is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform where anything can be a collateral right and by anything i mean uh any token any DeFi token so we are native to uh the ethereum DeFi ecosystem but of course mm -hmm. as the demand grows uh you know on on, on side chains and how to use etc we of course are interested in like expanding wherever it makes sense um, but, and so, so um, of course, the, the main, I guess, use case at this very moment uh, that kind of kicked off the whole thing is a marketplace where you can get a loan uh, using your, your DeFi assets and uh, as well as NFTs. Uh, so you can plug your NFTs into our protocol and you can request a loan and that is exactly what we're gonna have a look at i'm the app uh it's currently live we've just recently uh opened up the platform to the public uh so we're out of the kind of the closed beta mode now into open beta mode and you can uh, find the app right now at app.pond.xyz and you can kind of start using it yourself all you essentially need to uh, you need to do is connect your wallet and that can be either MetaMask directly or anything that's compatible with uh, with Wallet Connect. Uh, as I said, we're, we've started off on Ethereum, but as you can see, we are also currently deployed on Polygon. Uh, so whichever whichever one you prefer, we are there. So there are two sides to this uh, to this application: is the borrower side and the lender side. As, again, as I said, we are uh, a marketplace. And so I'll start with the with the borrowers. Um, the very first step in the whole process, and by the way, the process we've tried to optimize it as much as possible, so it's it's fairly short, is to create a, a borrowing or or a loan request. So you go to the uh, borrowing section and you click start borrowing. Uh, first thing is that you tell us, or you, rather the platform what is the asset that you're interested in borrowing so for the purpose of this demonstration i'm going to go with something classic we, uh, i'm going to go with die and i'm going to go with let's say 100 die um then you select uh anything between one and 90 days of a loan duration uh currently uh, you know the top limit is 90 days but we are working on uh, removing this restriction so that in the near future, you will be able to go way beyond that, even if you want to take out a much, much longer uh, term loan. So for, for, for this purpose, I'm going to go with 45 days. I'm going to get to this point a little bit later on, but the main, I guess, difference or, or one of the biggest advantages of Pawn is that you can literally uh, ask for anything as a credit. You can borrow anything. We do not really limit you at all. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of going to demonstrate that in a, in a few seconds. Uh, the other uh, big advantage uh, is that we also do not limit you in any way when it comes to what kind of asset you're going to use as collateral for your loan. So literally anything that is compatible with one of the main standards, uh, with, with, with uh, the main standards such as ERC-20, ERC-721 or 11.55 in case of NFTs, uh, you can use that as collateral. So for, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna use our internal collection uh, of NFTs that we use for events and, and I guess a little bit of a testing purposes as well. It's a ERC-721 NFT. Uh, but as you can see on the right-hand side, I have this like coins section which would essentially list uh, all my ERC-20s which I could use as collateral as well. In the near future, we will be launching a bundler, uh, so you will be even able to create bundles out of your NFTs or, or even combine NFTs and ERC-20s, if that's what uh, you're interested in. So I'm going to confirm this, 
and I'm just gonna end up on, on, on some sort of a summary screen where on the left hand side I see the collateral that I've just selected. I can of course uh, go to a, an explorer uh, and, and get more details about the asset if I need to. And on the right hand side this is a summary of the borrowing terms or like the desired borrowing terms that I've requested. Um, <laughs> As, uh, as, uh, as you will now notice, when I click Submit Loan Request, everything will happen in like one second, essentially instantly, and it says Success Loan Request Created. Um, so, important thing to note here is that we've tried to optimize the, the entire flow of, of borrowing and lending on the platform as much as possible, uh, and therefore this thing is done off-chain. And only when the whole deal is kind of finalized, that's when the on-chain transaction comes into play. So now we've created the loan request. We have the loan ID 364, uh, and we can see that the status is waiting for offers. We can, of course, revoke this loan request. Um, that means it would be hidden from the platform and, and no one would be able to post the offers. And here we see that we didn't really get any offer just yet because we have just created uh, the offer. We can of course share uh, our loan request anywhere, either by copying the URL and I don't know, posting it on our Twitter, or here is this little helpful section uh, where you can, uh, which you can use to, to to promote your loan request and potentially get more offers. Uh, you can also go to our Discord where we have a dedicated section uh, where you can post your loan request, and we will try to meet you with with a lender to kind of make this easier for you. All right, um, we will go to uh, the to the lender section uh, or like the lender point of view. So I'm just gonna switch my wallet to uh, the one where I, which I'm gonna use as as the lender perspective. Okay, awesome. And so now, as a lender, if I want to come to the platform and invest in loans, generate some APY, then I can uh, either on this on this homepage, I can go directly and, and kind of browse, browse the recent loans, or I can go to the lending section, which essentially gives me a full list of all the loans that are currently requesting uh, some funding. So for the purpose of, of course I can choose anything, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna fund the loan that I just created, mm -hmm. which is number 364. So as you can see, we kind of come to the same dashboard where we see the overview of the collateral. Again, we can go to the Explorer to get more details about the collection. And then on the right hand side, we get the desired terms. The key word here is desired terms, because here comes again uh, into play the flexibility that we've made kind of the, the, the centerpiece of, uh, of our protocol. Because as a lender, if I'm interested in funding a loan that is backed by a specific collateral, so for example, in this case, this plant NFT that I might really like, but I'm not interested in providing this specific uh, uh, credit type, I can even go and I can offer something something else uh, that I have available. So I can, for example, go here and offer 100 uh, those PST tokens, which are our custom ERC20 tokens. So of course, uh, the, the, the bor I'm kind of maybe limiting a bit the probability that the borrower will uh, accept my loan but it gives me the flexibility and, and it potentially widens the pool of offers that the borrower can later choose from. I can uh, either insert a repayment, so it could be something like 105 uh, P tokens, which with this duration of 45 days would generate quite interesting APY, or I can modify the APY input if I'm targeting, let's say, 20% APY and it's going to fix the input for me, of course. I can either remain with the, with the duration of that the, that the borrower has uh, is desiring, so that's 45 days, or I could technically go with, I don't know, up to 90 days, or I could offer a loan of only, let's say, two days or something like that. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go Sorry, I'm going to go with the, with the desired 45 days duration. Um, I'm going to click approve. 
So of course, even though my offer is being made uh, or like is getting, being signaled off chain, I have to approve the, the protocol to eventually potentially spend my, uh, my, my tokens and you know facilitate the investment in the, in the loan. So this is an on-chain transaction. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's fairly quick. And now that it's approved, I'm just gonna sign a message. It's not a, it's the mm -hmm. transaction. So the offer has been created. Of course, I can cancel it any time before it gets before it gets accepted by the borrower, or I can just wait uh, and and see if the borrower is gonna be interested in uh, accepting this loan. So now I'm gonna go back to the view of the um, of the borrower. I'm going to reload the page. And uh, now I see that the status has changed. Now I have available offers. So I can go to the offers section and I see the same offer that we've just created, of course, from a different wallet. Uh, and all I can do is I can accept the offer. So this is essentially, and by the way, because I haven't used this, this specific plant and a TS collateral on the platform just yet, I of course need to uh, approve it first. So there is the approval transaction as usual in DeFi. It's going to take a few seconds. And after I approve, uh, I will be able to, to submit kind of the main transaction of all the transactions, which is to the transaction that accepts the offer and activates the loan. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to confirm this transaction. And after it goes through, my loan is going to get activated. So that just happened. Uh, I have successfully accepted the, the offer. And so the loan 364 is now active. Um, so the, again, there is a summary of the terms that I, as a borrower, I've agreed to. I've borrowed 100 PC tokens. Um, um, I've agreed to repay 102, which is roughly 2.47 interest rate. And I have 44 days, 23 hours and 59 minutes roughly to make the repayment. As a borrower, all that matters to me right now is if before this expiration, before, before the, the, the loan ends essentially, if I do make or do not make the repayment. I can do it now. I could do I could do go and, and repay the loan right now if I of course have the assets available. Or I could wait, you know, essentially till the last second. But of course since the transaction also takes some time I wouldn't recommend waiting literally till the last second. Uh, but I don't know like forty four days I could I could wait for forty four days before repaying the loan. The key point here the key point here is that there is no liquidation. So as a borrower, I do not worry at all about, you know, if, you know, maybe the, the, the planned NFT price temporarily dips, you know, below some liquidation price or something like that, because all the terms that I've agreed to, which is the repayment, therefore the interest rate and the duration, they are, they are going to remain constant. They are going to remain fixed until I repay the loan. So this gives me, as a, as a borrower, kind of unprecedented uh, stability, I would say, um, which I guess, especially in those days where the markets are really volatile, is something that the users uh, really, really appreciate. And so, as I said, the only thing that matters right now is if I'm gonna be able to repay before this, goes, this timer goes to zero. If not, then the loan would automatically default and the lender would be able to um, claim the collateral. Um, otherwise, if I want to you know, be able to reclaim the collateral back, uh, I will, of course, have to repay. I'm just going to go quickly to the, to the lender wallet um, just to kind of show you the dashboard, how it kind of looks. So the dashboard, uh, which uh, is a summary of uh, your uh, lending and your borrowing, 
Okay, give me one second. Um, yeah, it seems like the, the API from which we're fetching some of the metadata is uh, is having some uh, some a little bit of a hard time. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back to the to the borrower and just show you the final step, which is the the repayment. Um, which was the loan 364. Yeah, we're, we're, we're currently, we're, right as we speak now, we are in the process of upgrading our backend infrastructure into uh, essentially like a more scalable and more performant uh, uh, server for catching the metadata. So if you check back tomorrow, everything should be much, much faster. Uh, but I might have hit some threshold on the metadata API. So anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. Uh, of course, by the way, uh, if you want to use the platform yourself, either take out the loan or you know invest in some of the loans uh, on the platform, you can you can totally do that. I encourage you to do that. Um, and in fact, Sanad has already uh, been very proactive in this regard and created a loan number three hundred and fifty two where he is uh, trying to get some. Uh, some die backed by this bank of plus trader the e, um, e, uh, the, the, the ENS. So I guess the, the, the main point here is if you want to try the app, it is now open to public. So you can go to app.fawn.xyz and start using it right now. Even though, as I've said, we are just currently upgrading the backend infrastructure. So I guess maybe if you show up tomorrow, uh, the experience is going to be significantly improved. If you want to jo join our community, raise some questions, you know, contribute to the discussion, because of course, uh, in the in the spirit of DeFi, we're trying to welcome everybody to kind of contribute in any way they they uh, desire. Uh, I would encourage you to join the Discord, and of course. Uh, as you might have noticed from some of the communications that came out regarding this demo, we are active on Twitter as well at on DAO. So I, I would very much like to welcome you to to, to join our community. Yeah, amazing. Um, well, <laughs> the, there are no limits with DeFi, so uh, always always impressed by what's actually possible in finance. So because I don't have a background in finance, I'm learning everything by myself and learning every day uh, so this is it's been very 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 good insight and just want to end our discord server if you want to continue the conversation on uh, on pawn uh, definitely very interesting to see where this is going especially peer-to-peer -peer. Uh, supposed to be the end game right um, so definitely uh, very 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 excited to see what's What's ahead of us all uh, here, and uh, thanks for coming up. Um, I think we are already ten minutes after, so I would like to thank you all for for being here, or like for for listening and 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 watching, and also for your feedback. I already saw your your feedback in the Dalishus general chat. I think this is very encouraging for our uh, guests here, and yeah, uh, thank you all for attending, and talk to you all soon. Thank I just want to remind. Yeah, I just oh, wanted to remind, and and thank <laughs> you all for presenting too. But um, yeah, this uh, we have a, a coordinate form. We'll be reminding folks to sign up for coordinate. Um, so please make sure, feel free to fill out the form for coordinate and you know participate in it. And yeah, thanks. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Ernest, for mentioning that. And uh, yeah, very important. And and by the way, sorry, I didn't give you, gosh, the chance to say something, some final words. Uh, please go ahead. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it was to you, Steve and Joseph and, and Petra, if you wanted to say something before we go. It was just like closing before giving you the last word. <laughs> awesome, awesome. No, I, I, I thank you so much for uh, organizing this. Sanad, and um, I, I guess uh, thanks everybody for joining in. I really appreciate uh, that you found the time and uh, 
who are curious about what's being built in the space. This is like super, super exciting. Again, if you're if you're interested in like checking out the platform or, or, or joining the community, um, just feel free to like hit me up anytime. I'm more than happy to talk. And again, it, this was a, such a nice experience. Uh, your community is really awesome. So thanks for having us.